In the previous video, we added the database methods to the layers and created their use cases. In this video, we want to use these use cases and save the article in the database, delete it and display the articles we saved. The first thing I want to do is to create the local block. So I create a folder called local. Then we create block, state and event files. We have three events, get saved article, remove article and save article. So we have defined these three events. First, we define an abstract class called local articles event, which has the article entity in the constructor. Now to define the three events, we need extend the local articles event. Because many of you know the block, I will not go into the details. We have two states, local articles loading, which is for displaying the loading, and local articles done. After the articles are fetched, we use this state and display the articles. Like events, first we define an abstract class called local articles state which has a list of article entities in the constructor. Now we define classes by extending local articles state. Now we define local articles block and set event and state. Here first we need to define instance of the use cases that we should use, which are also accepted in the class constructor. Now we must specify an initial state by passing it to the superclass via super that we set the local articles loading. The next step is to create methods and use use cases. The first method we need to create is called on get saved article. In this method, we fetch the list of saved articles using get saved article use case and emit local articles done state to display articles. The next method we need to define is remove article. In this method, we remove the article from the database using the remove article use case. And finally, I call the on get saved articles method to fetch the list of articles from the database and display the updated list. And finally, we need to define the save method. The save method is exactly like the remove method. But instead of using remove, we have to use save. Now there is only one thing left and that is to register these methods in the event handler like this. An event handler is responsible for converting any incoming events into zero or more outgoing states. One thing we forgot. In the save and remove methods we did not set the article we want to save or delete in the use cases parameter. So we do this like this. The block implementation is finished and now we have to go to the UI. As we said in the previous videos, our goal in this tutorial is not UI and we use simple UIs that no need to teach. And you can check and understand the source code. First of all we have to register created the block in the injection container. We do it exactly like the remote article block, so we do it the same way and set SL for the use cases that are in constructor. I created a new page called article detail which accepts article entity in its constructor and displays article details such as image, title and description. In the daily news page, I defined a method that when we click on the article, we go to the article detail page. In the article details page, I defined a method called on floating action button pressed, which I call when the bookmark icon is clicked. And using the save article event that we defined in the local article block, I save the article in the database and then show a snack bar. And to display the saved articles, I created a page called Saved Articles, where we fetch the saved articles in the database using the Get Saved Articles event, and then display them. This is so simple. To access this page, I created an icon in the app bar of the Daily News page. And when we click on it, we go to the Saved Article page. As you can see here, we have a minus icon. When we click on it, we call the onRemoveArticle method, and then in this method, we delete the article from the database using the Remove Article event. This was the last part of the news app project with clean architecture. In this project I tried to teach clean architecture with a project. We fetched and displayed the news from the API and then we were able to save the article in the database or delete it from the database. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for supporting. See you in the next project. And make to sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.